Hi guys, uh, Alex again. Um, just a quick video to show you where I got my rocket dock from. Uh, if you're not knowing what that is, it's this thing up here with all the uh, the different icons on that uh, that blow up, and it's it's like a, just a quick launch for, uh, for everything. You can put loads of different things on there if you want, and you can change the icons to what you want. Uh, so I'm just going to show you a quick website and how to download it and how to install it. Okay, if you go down to your internet browser uh, and go onto Google. Uh, if you go onto the, the tour here and type in rocket dock, just simple that rocket dock, and it should be the first link here. If you go onto that, and if you, if because it says a it's got a little video showing you what it does and everything on like that. If you go onto download, that's on the top here, and you go to latest version 1.3.5. 6 megabytes. Uh, make sure you have those specs for your computer. Uh, if you haven't got those, don't bother doing it because it just it will just slow down your computer and it won't run properly. Uh, because it's an ES uh, EXE file, run it. Back to the internet speed. Speeds up a bit. All this does is it makes sure that you can get to your, get your applications quicker than searching for it on the start menu and stuff like that. Uh, and you need to run that. Let me just close this, close this down. Right, and then here's the setup. Uh, you go to English. Next, I agree. Next, uh, make sure it's got that in there because if it's not, then you won't be able to find it. Uh, create desktop icon. Um, you may want to do that. It's a good idea to do it. Um, but yeah, but I'll, I'm going to click cancel now because I've already installed it. Um, so that's how you do that. Uh, yes. Uh, all you can do is you can open up any any application. Say I want to open up a win another Windows tab. It'd move down like that, and another one will pop up like this. Um, it's that quick and simple. Uh, you can all you can do is if say if you want another one on there, you go onto your Start menu wherever you want to go, uh, and say I wanted. Um, RK launcher. So all you do is you drag that from there, and you hold down up there, and all you do, oh, it won't let me place it for some reason. Right, move on to the desktop. If I just let you see my desktop icons, it's there. Right. If I move that up there and hold down on there, it should move it up there, but it's not going to. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, let me find something else that I can put on there. Um, Windows Movie Maker. See if that'll let me put it up there. Yeah, that'll let me put it up there. And it, you see the little plus sign there. If you just hold down that, and it'll pop up there, and it will stay up there now. Uh, and you can move it around. You can put it in between things or whatever. And you can you can move and you you can move things around so you can want it where you want. And if you go on to like settings, you can uh, say how big you want it, how many pe uh, pixels to take up what the theme is you can always make it fully transparent so you can't see mine because uh, normally there's a there's a background on it if I just show you so I can put it to there and click OK and if you if you now see there's like a uh, a, a grey shaded background behind it uh, so if I just change that back uh, position you can move it up to the top of the uh, the top of the screen the bottom of the screen the right the left wherever you want it um, behaviour um, you don't really need to mess with this. Uh, you can have like the bounce effect where the icons, when you move over them, they bounce down, and when you click on them, they bounce down as well. Uh, label, you can have um, the icons and the the words coloured in with different things. You know, you know, font like on uh, Windows, um, Microsoft Word, or anything like that. Uh, exclusions, uh, you can fill out this box. All you do is you click onto a file, you, you copy the name of it, and you add it. It means that if you want to put any of these into there, you won't be able to, because he won't let you. Uh, but you can you can always take them off. You can click on any of them and click delete, um, and it will just take it off. It means that if anybody wants to put something on there and you don't want them to, they can't. Um, you don't want to mess with uh, the uh, the performance. You want it uh, depending on your computer and your graphics card, and that you mainly want it high. Uh, magnify. Um, you want it definitely like. Uh, well, I have it round about there, but most people have it in the middle, so it's it's near enough smooth. 
um, and you can you can always test it as well to see how it is uh, without changing the full results uh, right so I'm just gonna change the view now so I hope this has helped and thank you very much for watching please subscribe and any questions and comments please just comment me cheers